Hello, lovely friends. Today we're doing January favorites, where I share all the exciting vegan and eco friendly things that are floating my boat. So, if you want to see all the favorites from this past month, keep watching. Veggie Magnifique. Si vous êtes francophone, ne vous inquiétez pas, il y a des sous-titres. Il faut cliquer sur la petite CC. So the bad news is that there is scaffolding outside my window and lots of workmen making lots of noise. But the good news is, is that in theory, my wall is going to be fixed. Finally, after a year and a half. Because it is France and uh, these uh, kind of things, they take time in the, the French system. So let's get started. My first favorite is a book, The Art of Nonconformity. This has become one of my favorite books because it's kind of like a manifesto for living your life differently. And it's a book that makes you question the status quo and remember that the status quo makes a lot of people pretty miserable. This is a must read if you like to think outside the box, if you desire a life that is unordinary and different and you just don't want to play by everyone else's rules because it just doesn't make you happy. I love how this is written so, so clearly and you know, set your own rules and live the life you want and change the world. I mean, that's basically like what I want to do. So this is a wonderful manual if you're interested in setting your own rules, in living a life that you actually enjoy, and if you're seeking to change the world. Definitely recommend it. It's by Chris Guibou. My next favorite is Gaia TV. So Gaia TV is like the Netflix for consciousness and alternative media. So if you're seeking more truth and less mass media, Gaia TV is a wonderful way to start doing more research. There's a plethora of documentaries and series and all this information that goes really deep into subjects, say from ancient civilizations to Ayurveda to angels, sacred geometry and mindfulness. Basically, it's a treasure trove of fascinating. My next favorite is this amazing cookbook by Laura Miller. So if you don't know Laura Miller, she's kind of fabulous and glorious and hilarious. And she wrote this amazing cookbook, Raw Vegan Not Gross. What I usually do with cookbooks actually is that I just kind of read it cover to cover as if it were like an actual book. And it inspires me to be more creative and try new things. I don't always follow every single recipe, but it certainly gives me lots of really good ideas. So I've marked a few pages here with these adorable little sea creature page markers that my brother and his girlfriend sent me. So under the uh, squid guy, there's this breakfast roll up, which is interesting because it brings us to my next favorite, rainbow chard. So Laura Miller's talking about eating rainbow chard for breakfast with almond butter and bananas and like rolling it up. And I was like, wow, she's eating greens for breakfast. And I thought, well, it must be pretty mild if she's eating it with almond butter and bananas on top. So I should definitely try it as like a greeny green. The truth is, is that sometimes greens can be really intense. Like we know that we need to eat them and we know we need to get more greens into our diet because that's where all the nutrients and all the good stuff is, but sometimes it's just not enjoyable. <laughs> Rainbow chard is enjoyable. It's kind of chewy and, and salty and you can fix it as if you were fixing a kale salad, but it's not so pokey. So thanks to Rainbow chard, I've been able to take my greens consumption to a new level, fills me with energy, and it's also really pretty. I mean, what's not to love? It's rainbow. My last favorite are these boots. Vegan, eco, from Beyond Skin. They're called the Roxy. They are beautifully handmade, super luxurious. I mean, I know you can't touch through like video, but I just wish you could, would, could touch these. There's this beautiful detailing that's like faux suede, faux leather, of course. These are vegan. What I love about these boots, in addition to being beautiful, the heel is just perfect. Elegant, but it's still chunky and solid, so you can wear these all day and not be crying at the end of your day, which is a plus. And you can wear them with just about anything and just kind of slip them on. They're easy to slip on. There's no zipper, no nothing. They're just real easy. Easy like Sunday morning, absolutely gorgeous. So I highly recommend you check out Beyond Skin. I'll leave a link for everything down below in the comments. Also, so we're doing a poll. If you are Anglophone, let us know in the comments below and let us know where you're from and if you would prefer to continue seeing videos in English. If you are Francophone, leave us a comment below and let us know, yes, 
On est francophone. On aimerait bien l'équipe en français. And let us know where you're from because we're conducting a poll. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Join us over at the blog at veggiemanifique.com on social media, Facebook, Instagram. We even tweet sometimes. You can join us over there at veggiemanifique. And we will see you next week. Bye. They didn't make any noise. That's so exciting. And you know that you are stylish? Oh, I just hit myself in the face with the boot.